Development Network and the leadership of the Aga Khan University, a diplomatic core, development, development partners and distinguished guests present here this afternoon. Good afternoon to you all. I am happy to welcome the Aga Khan Development Network to Uganda today on behalf of the President, the Government of Uganda, and the Ministry of Education and Sports in particular. As all of us know, the Aga Khan Development Network service is not new to our country. It has worked with us now, I'm told, close to 100 years. Therefore, it is only right and befitting to thank Princess Zahra in a special way, who came today leading His Highness the Aga Khan's new blessing to Uganda. As we lay yet another brick on the foundation of this partnership. I'd like to thank God at the onset for the real and healthy competition that I believe both the Aga Khan University and the hospital will bring to our country because I know that their performance is excellent and whatever work they set themselves to do. And it is humbling to learn that this university will also provide access to the underprivileged as it also conducts groundbreaking research and issues that affect millions of our people. We also thank the government of Uganda for providing the 60 acres of land on which the project will stand. But I also cannot help to ask you to express gratitude again in a special way for understanding that this project is currently the largest single capital investment Aga Khan development network that has been made in East Africa. And of course we know that through this facility, a new crop of exceptionally skilled and equipped nurses and midwives will be available to support the health sector all over Uganda in years to come. We therefore honor the services of those who are already serving selflessly and those yet to come to join the service of saving lives and keep our people healthy and grateful. And while we lost many loved ones to COVID-19, we are mindful of the numerous lives that were saved as a result of the medical fraternity's dedicated service in the face of the unprecedented circumstances. And I'm glad you thanked our Minister of Health, whom we are very proud about. With her team, they did us proud through that period. Therefore, on behalf of our people, I say thank you and well done. In conclusion, it is my prayer and hope that in the coming years, through the Aga Khan Teaching Hospital, Kampara, thousands of our people will receive life-saving care, making it a beacon of hope. Thousands of our babies will be born in delivery rooms, making it a scene of joy. And that thousands of our young generation will receive quality education, making it a hub for personal growth and transformation. As we embark on a new chapter in our long-standing relationship, we give God all the glory for this partnership. Yes. <clears throat> and we do look forward to witnessing this project succeed as we experience international quality health care and a new generation of phenomenal leaders in this sector. I thank you and God bless you. Let's give a warm thank you for that encouraging words. May I kindly ask the First Lady and Princess Zara Aga Khan 
to proceed for the unveiling. And while to doing so, we will ask the students of the Aga Khan School to prepare for the anthem as we come quickly to the closing ceremony. Once this takes place, we will start with the Nasheed, the East African Anthem, and the Uganda Anthem, one stanza. Though construction may have begun, this is a moment of celebration. The unveiling ceremony. A warm, warm, warm round of applause for this. Let us stand and celebrate this moment. The government of Uganda, KFW and AKBN, and each and every one of you who are here on this fantastic, fantastic day. I will ask we remain standing as we start with the one standard of the Uganda National Anthem. <laughs> 